New concerns over what the drought might be doing to an ancient salmon run that goes through the heart of Silicon Valley. Newly hatched salmon are thriving along Los Gatos Creek, but as Len Ramirez reports, they could soon be in danger. Well, believe it or not, I'm right here in the middle of urban Silicon Valley along Los Gatos Creek, which is flowing again because of recent storms. But the concern for the salmon that use this stream is what will happen to them during the hot and dry summer months when this creek will literally dry up. Well, we went along today with one man who is trying to make a difference. Into that area. Roger Castillo doesn't look after the rivers and streams and their wildlife in Silicon Valley because it's his job. He does it because he loves it. What are we going to leave our children, you know? The mostly self-taught citizen naturalist is a former truck mechanic who just discovered thriving schools of Chinook salmon fry in Los Gatos Creek. But because of reduced water flows due to the drought, they're likely to become trapped in pools of warm water upstream with no way to swim out to sea when they mature. The salmon cannot tolerate 75 degrees. They could barely tolerate 75 degrees. So what will happen in the summer is we'll cook fish here. We have habitat for them to rear them, but if we let them stay here, we're going to end up cooking fish. Castillo has a well-documented history of working to improve fish habitat since the re-emergence of salmon in San Jose's polluted urban streams 40 years ago. Last December, he documented spawning salmon that made Campbell look like Alaska. This is uh, one of at least 50 or more. Today, he's counting the salmon fry and will turn over the numbers to California Fish and Wildlife in the Valley Water District in hopes the salmon can get a human helping hand. We want to actually try to relocate these salmon here to lower river systems where all these upwells occur. You'd have to trap them. And then, uh, uh, and then move them, and we have tanks. Castillo hopes to organize an emergency rescue soon since the fry are also in danger of getting eaten by carp and bass, which also live in the streams. That is really, realistically, one of the most endangered species that we have. In Campbell, Len Ramitas, KPIX 5. Now, wildlife biologists are trying to determine the origin of the salmon in Santa Clara Valley streams to find out if those fish are naturally reproducing on the river or they're hatchery-raised fish that may have strayed.